It's even a greater honor to operate in the perfect will of God. Welcome to today's DDRX. We've been saying we should dwell in the sacred place. And that's the prescription, dwell in the sacred place. In the secret place, requests are answered. Your requests are answered. In Psalm 91 verse 15, He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. You know, it's an honor for God to answer our request. It's even a greater honor to operate in the perfect will of God. In Isaiah 65 verse 24, it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are still speaking, I will hear. This can only happen when you dwell in the secret place. You know, God is ready to answer your request. So what God is saying here is that, look, you have access to me. So you have access to the throne room of God. You know, you have the key of David to be, able to, to be able to open any door and to shut doors. And Jesus enjoyed access while he was on earth. All his prayers were answered. Even immediately, you know, at the can of Galilee, he turned water into wine in John chapter 2. You know, in John chapter 5, the Bible said he met a man with infirmity for 38 years. He healed him instantly. In John chapter 6, the feeding of 5,000 men. You know, Jesus, Jesus just said, Father, I thank you for you hear me always. It's access. And that's what we have in the secret place. Access to God's throne. You know, at the grave of Lazarus, in John 11 verse 42, Jesus said, and I knew that thou hearest me always. What an access. And that's what we enjoy in the secret place. In the secret place, our prayers are answered. Dwell in the secret place.